Good afternoon. So my name is Luke Clavo from Turks and Caicos Islands. And basically I'm going to be doing the same thing as the other countries. I'm just going to go through the various um, technologies and geospatial information within Turks and Caicos. Um, as you can see on this slide here, there's only one, as we are, RGS-based server uh, within the country, uh, which is a survey and mapping um, department. Now they, for sensitive reasons, do not share that with any other department within the government or other agencies. Um, however, some of their products, uh, such as the satellite imagery, um, they are willing to share with us um, the roads and transports and buildings, some things they would, they would share with us. But as far as um, using the server to, to project our data, our marine, they, they won't allow that. And back in 2007 and 8, um, there was a project um, I suppose proposal had started uh, to seek to develop a, a geo database that would allow for the various departments that collect um, geo or spatial information uh, to project it onto that um, server and be able to access it. And for some reason, that project kind of fell through and still hadn't gone back uh, since then. Um, as far as uh, relevant products uh, for CMA2, um, as you can see on the maps there, uh, we have various uh, reef uh, data, uh, fishing zones, uh, protected area maps, uh, dive snorkel sites, um, coastal habitat maps, um, land use cover, as well as various other uh, research, marine research related research, as well as coastal zone related research um, that the CMA uh, would be able to, to project uh, through its platforms. And main linkages, I suppose, on the platform, uh, which from our standpoint uh, was basically, uh, would be able to, to have a national atlas uh, projected through that. And the main link would be through uh, ministries of, you know, very through sub departments such as the Tourist Board National Trust, our department, which is the Department of Environment and Maritime Affairs. And here, as far as data is concerned, um, within the Ministry of Environment, uh, there are several departments that collect um, GIS or geospatial related data. Uh, our department, again, which collects um, environmental uh, data, protected area data, maritime data, uh, fisheries data, um, the survey mapping department, the planning department. Um, here I have the econ economic planning and statistics department. Um, they mainly house like municipality data. Um, census data and so forth, which would be useful uh, for our purposes. And it's supposed to kind of enable them or to draw their interest and to help them to buy it and providing um, their information as well. Um, here I have government support services uh, through disaster management and public works. Um, as far as, for instance, flooding and other emergency related uh, geospatial data, uh, they are the ones that collect and manage those data sets. Um, so I think through being able to allow them to see how uh, the CMA uh, can benefit them by being able to project uh, their data, I think we'll be able to provide buying a linkage from that. Again, is mainly three, three departments or a few that I suppose from the preliminary proposal that were involved in the project, which is DEMA, again, uh, survey and mapping, uh, as well as National Trust. And that would be it. Thank you. Thank you.